Lucky Tackle Box. The Bass XL Box for the month of September. And it's a good one. <laughs> Let's open this up and check it out. Okay. If you're new to Lucky Tackle Box, basically what it is, is it is a monthly subscription-based program to get fishing lures and baits every month. You can pick what kind of box you want, what species of fish you want, all kinds of stuff. Here you have a card with what is in the box and I'm gonna make sure I leave that down in the description for you guys. And then on the front of the card is uh, just an advertisement for Lucky Tackle Box Apparel. Of course, you have your golden ticket that they do for the monthly drawing, the prizes you could win, fishing rods, fishing reels, a one year subscription, uh, a 10 foot sit on top fishing kayak, stuff like that. What is this? <laughs> this is a uh, sinker's good, sinker's bad, flushable below the belt wipes. Real men deserve a real clean. Use the LTB code for 30% off from Amazon.com. Anyway, and then you have your, of course, your Lucky Tackle Box sticker. And then you have a card from Lucky Tackle Box telling you a little bit about the box and the theme of it. And yes, this is the Lucky Tackle Box Top Fall Baits Box. First up, you have the Live Target Crankbait. And it's actually the Yearling Alvine. And this bait is, it's a half ounce in weight. It's a two and three eighths length. And it goes seven to eight feet. I've actually used these crankbaits in the past at multiple times of the year and had a lot of success with these. And in my opinion, who doesn't like a live target bait? Up next in the box, you have the, the Strike King Rage Swimmer. That's a three and three quarter swim bait. And it looks almost like a, the pearl blue red. That's what I thought. Dead sticking these on a swim bait hook or swimming these or actually j or using these on a jig head too it, th there's a lot of things i like to do with these uh especially these and the kytec swing impact fats these are some pretty cool baits right here next in the box is the mustad feather treble and it's a number two size it's just one one piece one hook from mustad um it's actually pretty cool because this treble hook looks a lot like some of the um, like some of the back treble hooks that you would get on like a uh, a Rapala topwater bait, or I think even some of the Rebel Pop R baits. Let me let me hold this up closer to show you guys. Wait a minute, is that a Castaic bait? Yes, it is. That's the Castaic. It's the Catch Twenty Two. The four-inch Threadfin Shad. I've actually never used these. Um, I've used the the Live Target swim baits. Uh, some of the what do you call it? Uh, the Jackal Gantero and a few others, but I've never tried the Castaic swim baits. So if you have tried these baits, do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below because I want to hear what you guys think about this swim bait. Looks pretty good to me. I mean. It's a green shad color. I'll definitely try using that in the fall. What do we got? What else we got in here? Okay. You have a lipless crankbait by Fishhound. Uh, it's a shallow lipless crankbait. It's a two and a half inch and the size is a half ounce, of course. I love half ounce lipless crankbaits. Um, pretty sure this is a chartreuse. Yep, chartreuse black. Uh, it's the Fish Hound Tournament Series. When the water is like stained or muddy, especially like in the fall, spring or fall, I'd use this for sure. And now, 
We have the bait by Mr. Twister. Uh, this is the five inch pocket phenom. And on the on the back it, it tells you different rigging options. But of course if, if I were to do it, I would either Texas rig it, drop shot it, uh, jig head it, whatever. Let's take it out and look at it. Oh yeah. That's actually a pretty cool little bait right there. I mean, I used to use Mr. Twister baits a lot when I was a kid, but that does look pretty sweet, if you ask me. What else we got in this box? <laughs> look at for a squeaky clean tush it's the good wipes that I talked about on the card at the beginning <laughs> sewer and septic safe one soothing hypoallergenic wipe below the belt wipe cedar okay it looks like a riot bait and it is a riot bait it is the what is this is this the Riot Tantrum? Let's look on the cart. Yes. This is the Riot Tantrum bait. And a little sample pack here, I guess. It's a tiny little finesse bait. Tiny little craw. Hold that up and show you guys. It's like a... Almost kind of looks like a... Like a green pumpkin purple. It's like green pumpkin and black over here with maybe a little bit of brown and then on the back it kind of goes into like purple not sure the exact name of the color but I would use it oh and it's your fish hound magazine that has tips and techniques for different baits uh, different ways to catch bass it talks about the seasons maybe even some rods reels stuff like that sometimes Normally, I talk about the Fish Hound magazine at the beginning, but it was at the bottom of the box, and it has six social feeds you need to follow on here. Uh, pretty sure most of these guys are from Instagram, but anyway. And also, before I forget, do me a favor and leave me another comment in the section below. What was your guys' favorite bait? out of this month's Lucky Tackle Box. Did you like this month's box? Did you not like it, dislike it, hate it? Let me know in the comments. You guys know I'll appreciate it. But I can't forget to mention thank you oh so much for watching this episode. And I will see you guys next time.